attracts a little bit of controversy. Can you understand that? Yes, I can, because I think people have been, to some extent, worked up by the claims of campaigners that circuses don't keep their animals well, that they abuse them, that they knock them about, that they're chained up all the time and all this sort of thing. In a way, it's difficult to counter that because the campaigners have great resources and can put this information out, or these allegations. Um, we can only counter that by showing people who have time and sufficient interest to actually come and look at how the animals are kept. I must say that all those people always say to us, I didn't realise how well you could keep them, you're doing a wonderful job. We get loads and loads of compliments. But it's difficult to, to counteract that massive campaign against us. Um, and of course, you know, some of the general public, a great many, who haven't been to our circus, to an animal circus recently, feel sympathy for the animals and that's perfectly understandable and say is that how they treat them how awful I'm not going to go and they make comments like that all we can ever do is say to people hang on a minute don't just believe what you read in a leaflet please do try and come and have a look please do look at the circus side look at photographs on our website and see how the animals are actually kept and that I imagine is what you're looking at across my shoulder there elephants out grazing just wandering about you have a sign at the front of the big top to do a DEFRA. Um, what's that, that about? Well, this is an ongoing process right now as we speak, and we're going to talk to the government minister again very shortly about this. But uh, since the Animal Welfare Act was passed, which is two or three years ago now, DEFRA and circus people and the campaign groups have been working to look at scientific evidence on both sides of the argument and see whether it's it's viable, whether it's, I suppose you could say, acceptable to have animals in this circus context now, or whether scientifically, not in a matter of opinion or politics, but scientifically, whether they can be properly kept. Now, the first part of that process was a working group which went on for 18 months and we were a part of it and my colleagues asked me to be the chairman of, of, the, of our section, I'm very proud of that. Both sides put forward scientific evidence to support their case. The scientific evidence was then reviewed by academics, again nominated, appointed from both sides, so it was a balanced view and the conclusion of the academics was published in a report in November 2007 and the three outstanding statements of that, which pleased us very much and in view of the political pressure behind the campaigns against animals in circuses, we were very surprised. But the conclusions were, first of all, that there is no scientific reason to ban any species of animal from circuses, from this sort of life. Secondly, that circuses look after their animals just as well as zoos and safari parks do. So there you are, stop knocking us as the poor relations. Thirdly, and a concern that's often expressed because this is a travelling circus, concern expressed about whether the animals suffer stress under transport. And there was a simple statement, the animals don't suffer stress because they're used to it. It's their way of life, it's not a problem to them. So we were very pleased with that. Subsequent to that, of course, the debate is still ongoing. There's huge political pressure, there's huge pressure on the government. Um, this is to do with all sorts of complicated reasons, many of which are nothing to do with animal welfare, and a lot of it's to do with politics. Uh, it doesn't actually relate to animals as such. But we continue to talk to the minister, um, and we hope that the I think the, the major cultural significance and importance of the circus as a, a popular art form, popular entertainment, I hope we can defend that and go on doing this because I believe that if the public who visit us, as they do, can see how well kept the animals are, then they're happy to accept that this is a, a justifiable way to entertain people.